Repair Order Options Review From within a repair order, there are additional functions available under the Options button, like Print Vehicle History Report, Tech Worksheets, or Checklists. Let's take a look. Open a repair order on the service counter and click the yellow Options button here on the left. Now first thing to mention, the options at the top will change depending on whether you have a reason for service, a labor, or a part highlighted in the repair order. Let's step through each one. With the reason for service highlighted, the side drop list of features from the Add section are just secondary ways to access the information under these buttons. Add a reason for service, labor, kit, or a quote. Under the Return Credit, we can return labors, and this is the same as under the Returns button. Edit and Delete are the same as these two buttons. Let me note here, the return credit works just like adding a labor or a part. It just enters a credit instead of a charge on the RO by selecting a labor from the list or a freeform labor, and the add-on charges can be credited here too. We'll click OK to add this return to the repair order, and you can see it shows up in red type. Now the View Reason for Service Master Record enables you to permanently change the wording of that reason for service. Changes made to the master record will not affect the reason for service already entered on the repair order. These master record links are also other ways to edit the customer or vehicle record, the same as using these two underline links here, which takes you directly to the customer or vehicle record, handy for accessing the VIN if you're ordering parts. We could select Print Vehicle History Report to open the Vehicle History Report filter window, specify the number of months to be included on the report, and checking the Use Printed Labor Service Descriptions box prints the entire description, not just the first line of the entry. Here we can just view the report or print it out for the customer. It's a very handy report for the customer to review and track the repairs and maintenance on their vehicle and it's a great tool for when the customer wants to sell their vehicle. We'll just click Close. We can also print the technician worksheets and any selected checklists on the RO. Note you also have a prompt to print all three of these when you save and print the RO. If you use the Job Clock feature, you can print the Job Clock details to see who has worked on this job so far and how many hours they've logged. See, Paul started on this job just before 3 o'clock and has booked a little over an hour and is sourcing repair information now. Pretty cool feature to know what's actually happening with a particular job. We could dial the customer's phone from here if your phone system is set up for that. Edit the repair order number if you haven't completed the RO or use the job clock feature like we have. Since our technician has already clocked in on this RO, we cannot go back and change our repair order anymore. We can see Repair Order Profit, which is the same as this button, and Technician's Clock In and Out details, where we can see how many hours Paul has booked so far. And last, we can see parts on the RO that need to be ordered. This is also signified on the repair order by the red circle with the slash through it, or if the part has a green circle around it because it's part of a menu labor, the piston will be red if the part needs to be ordered. I have my system set up to prompt me to order parts when exiting the repair order using the Lowstock Notice Parts Ordering Wizard. And of course the save options are the same as these save options. Since a lot of these features can be accessed from other parts of the repair order, why do we have them here? The reason for having the options drop list in addition to the buttons across the bottom and the automatic features in the workflow is the drop list follows the inherent workflow. Add a labor first, issue a credit if needed, edit or delete your entries, all the way through saving your repair order. You can choose how to access each feature and come up with your own workflow, but the options drop list provides a good starting point. Note that some of these options are also available with the right click, with one very special feature only available from the right click with a reason for service line highlighted. It's one of my favorites. Make a kit from this reason vehicle problem. This feature starts the create a kit wizard where you simply name and save the selected job on this repair order. So you can just select that job as a kit later on. It's a very cool feature. 
Now if we highlight a labor line, these options on the drop list change just a bit, just these few on top. The rest of the options from here down remain the same. So let's look at some of these options. The Add option again provides you all the same options that are under these buttons. The Return Credit is the same as the Returns button. Now another feature here. The Refund Core Charge will open the Browse Cores window listing the cores this customer has paid for in the past. You would select the core, click Core Return to Shop, Refund Customer, adjust the price if needed, and adjust the quantity, and click OK. The customer would show a refund and the used core would be put back in stock to go back to the vendor for credit. We could also return the core to the shop with no refund if we never charged them, or just mark the core not returnable, taking it off this customer's core list and out of the core bank. If the core the customer wants to return is not listed in the Browse Cores window, click the Show All Cores button to open the Part Search window to find your used cores on hand. And again, we can edit and delete, same as these buttons, and assign text. This just opens the sales detail window for that labor to select a technician. Actually, it's the same as the edit button. The rest of these options are the same as when a reason for service line is highlighted. And now with a part line highlighted, we can just edit or delete the part, just like the edit and delete buttons down here. Everything else on the list is the same. And this concludes the lesson on Repair Order Options Review.